Tim Conley, bowhunting.com. We're here at 2017 ATA. I'm at the Gearhead Archery booth. And let me tell you something. We've got this crossbow. It's a carbon X16 is the number on it. I'm with Paul here from Gearhead. This thing is four and a quarter pound. I, you cannot believe how light that is. Paul, tell us a little bit about this bow. Thank you. Uh, the bow is, the mission with this bow was to break the five pound barrier. We started with the blank sheet of paper. We tried not to spare any expense. It's kind of hard to believe we're standing here and you've got a bow that's lighter than a lot of bows on the market. And really the, the, the fit and finish on this bow, if you really can look at it, all stainless steel hardware. Some of the, the ingenuity and the way this top is flared so that it gives it all the structure. It's just a really rigid, light crossbow. It shoots so quiet, you think you're shooting a bow. What we do that's unique is we shoot regular arrows. So, in terms of feet per second, what's this bow like this rated at? We're at the show, we're rating it at 340. That's up at 90 pounds. We're going to do higher poundage options. We just wanted to get to the show and kind of under the premise, we don't believe a 185 pound crossbow is what's needed. This has the same kinetic energy as our T18 series of bows. It's taken a ton of game that you can see up there. And we really wanted to shoot arrows. Uh, one of the things that's really, really uh, the innovations on it. Most crossbows, the pressure that's on the power cables is extremely high and you burn them out. This has the same cams and strings as our bow, but what we've done is instead of running the cock feather down like it goes in the, in the trough on the barrel, we've inverted it and we're able to relieve all the pressure on the cables. It's got the same vein clearance as a bow, so it's not putting any down pressure and it really gets for a really efficient shooting crossbow. So where can they find this bow and what's MSRP on it? The, carbon, the bow comes in carbon fiber. It'll be retail at $19.99. You can go to any one of our dealers. The aluminum version is $14.99, and it's a five and a quarter pound, so it's a pound difference. But I think when people go out and look at it with some of the vibration dampening is within the riser or within the stock. Spin that right around where they can kind of see it's got a, a little it's bit. Got a, uh, oops. <laughs> it's got a billet machined trigger with dual bearings, the same bearings that we use in our cam. We truly wanted to make something that's a crossbow for a lifetime. This isn't a throwaway product. I mean, there's a lot of billet aluminum parts that are integrated into this, and it's just truly, as I look at it, it's a work of, work of art. We also have our new limb shields. It's a rubber over-molded uh, product that dampens sound. If you hit the limb, it protects it. It's, it's really a neat system. And you have to go out and shoot one and just say, it's a joy to shoot. It's almost like shooting a 22 you just want to cock it and shoot it and shoot it where most of the time you shoot a crossbow five times you're like i'm done i sh i want to show you one more thing if you can give me a space this crossbow comes with a flirt stirrup and a rope cocker but i'd be honest with you up to 90 pounds this is how i shoot it i do not even use a rope cocker with the with the two track cam system we have i shoot this thing offhand at 75 yards I'm extremely accurate, even with hand cocking it. It does not start to sway left and right. You can use a rope cocker, but when you're in a tree stand and you just made your first shot, I can shoot three arrows in 30 seconds with this, just as fast as a bow. I cock it, pick it up, shoot it. So it's 35 inches overall, it's 18 and a half inches axle to axle, and it's got a 16 inch power stroke. It's identical to our T18 product as far as the power. Well, very good, I'm very impressed. And uh, as they say, wait, there's more. Let's go over here and see see what you got, Paul. So you're gonna run it as one video? Yeah, yeah, I guess I'll do a little bit. Yeah. So tell me what you got over here. So when Gearhead Archery first started, we started out our platform was on a ultimate hunting bowl. And really I do a lot of backcountry hunting where I'm hiking in. I lived in Wyoming, I now live in Hawaii and we hunt all the time. And if you carry a bow around all day, you're like it, it gets to be a burden if, you, if you're traveling with your bow. So we had started with a small bow and the perception is that a small bow doesn't have the kinetic energy. And the fact is, the difference between this little bow here is at a 25 inch draw length and we have a system where anybody can shoot it versus this bow with a 25 draw length, it's the same kinetic energy. And getting people to maybe understand that when you look at the two products now, we've come up with a family of products because we were really pushing our system of a small bow well, when you, look at the, when you look at the product line here now, we have a family of bows from 30 inches of axle to axle down to 18. Let the customer pick. I've been, I may love our smaller bows, but everybody has 
their preference and the customer can choose. So we have the T30 we came out with, it goes a 31 inch draw. It has a IBO of 325. It's a really smooth shooting, nice bow dead in the hand. It's got stabilizer mounts. We came out with this bow, which is one of my favorite. It's a recurve compound. It's a basically gearhead engineer's rendition of a ancient Mongolian bow. If you really look at the profile, the Mongolian bows were one of the most proficient with hunting and warfare, and we just wanted to pay respect to that, and we made this Barnsdale, I'd worked with this. Yeah, we've, we've not seen that look in a limb for quite some time, have we? Yeah, it, it, it has a little bit of a response in the hand, like a target bow, but it's just the look of it. It's a really a, a sexy bow. Well, it looks like Gearhead got something for everybody. Uh, check them out. <laughs> I know it, it, it's, all right. it's a one shot, and I hate to stutter. And oh, they'll do a little editing on it. I don't give a shit. Um, we'll have plenty of stuff. That's fine. All right, go for it. So, next up, Paul, what do we got here? So, this year we introduced a lot, but we felt we needed to come out with a lot of stuff to show that we're not just a small bow company. And, and again, introducing the crossbow, the bow lineup as a family. One of the advantages of the bow system that we have is it's customizable. And customizable in a sense that I can convert the bow from left to right. I can put different grips on. And we call this system that you're seeing and I'm showing you here the pick a grip. New for this year, on any bow you can put any grip, the, the carbon grip. It's a composite carbon fiber grip. It cuts 0.4 pounds out of the bow. You could put it on a, you can buy an aluminum bow and have a carbon grip. It's pretty amazing. People love the warm touch. And they can get it now on an aluminum bow. The other grip, it's called our square body grip. It's a more of a target look. You can, you can get that style of grip. So we're letting the, the, the shooter or the, the customer pick what they like. The last one that's probably the most, uh, I guess, we're excited about is this, we call it the slider. And if you're a target shooter or a hunter and you're really particular, this grip has the ability, if you look in here, it has the ability to shift the center shot on our bows are usually center of the grip is the center of the string, but you can shift this a quarter inch to the left, the whole grip, the under part shifts left to right. So you can control and paper tune your bow and get rid of the torque, even after the shot so you don't feel it. It also does another thing, it moves forward and back a full half inch so you can go and get your half inch tweak draw your, length. Tweak your uh, draw length there a little bit. Very good, let me have a feel on that. Very good. Paul, what's your website and where can they find more information? Go to gearheadarchery.com and check us out. All these products are getting released right now at the show on our website. So thank you for your time. Appreciate it. ATA 2017, Gearhead Archery.